Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I'll make apps. Now today I want to ask a question. How would you feel if your developer resold your code? Alright, so first let me apologize for the lack of formality today. I'm just in a t-shirt. Well, I'm wearing trousers too, but you guys can't tell, right? It's the weather is really nice here in England today. It's like gonna get up to 26 degrees, which is it's beautiful outside. I'm in the office and for some reason when it gets nice outside, the temperature in the office just goes up and up and up and it gets almost, I think it's the computers and stuff. It just gets impossible sometimes. So earlier, I, I was wearing a blazer earlier and I was gonna do the video in a blazer and dress like the, the best dressed man from my childhood, Don Johnson in Miami Vice, but you know, we just wear the t-shirt day. So anyway, sorry about that. So today I want to talk about an email I got this morning, you know, from someone with a, a few questions and it was, it was really interesting and I want to get your guys' take on this. Uh, but first, let me just say uh, thanks everyone for subscribing. If you haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button and, uh, and please like or dislike this video. We get a lot of dislikes, you know, but I'm, I'm I don't say that often enough, and I know I should yeah, at the end of the videos or the beginning of the video. So anyway, thank you everyone for who's liked or, or even disliked the videos. You know, let me know what you, you don't like to. I'm fine with that. I'm cool with that. All right, so I got this email this morning from somebody saying, and I'm not going to tell the, the, the specifics of the email, um, although they said it was okay, but I, I don't want to go into too much, too much detail on it. But basically it was saying, you know, this person had hired a developer, a developer they worked with on many projects before, and they, the developer did a, a game for them and it's out there on the app market and everything like that. But then the developer had other clients too, and he took that project and sold it to another client and basically reskinned it, right? So it looks almost exactly the same. I mean, the, the, the gameplay, everything's the same except for the image had been swapped out, right? But this person had paid for it. So, he said, so they said, how would you feel about this? I mean, I'm not sure how to respond to it I mean, because he seems very apologetic and everything like that. He didn't really know if that was bad or not. And I thought, I thought it was. So I want to get your guys' opinion on this because there's, it's basically, a, there's a sense of code reuse. Like every developer will reuse some of their code. Or at least, you know, they, they should, right? There's a lot of times we talk about the, the security of the source code. Like it, for us, we always give the source code out to, to our clients after they paid for the application. So they own all the source code. So we never give them anything proprietary that's something that we would reuse again but we but we do have like modules and stuff that we've written that make that make development a little bit faster so stuff like let's say there's a module that handles push notifications for iOS and Android that's something that we may use in different projects and even though it's included in that project which would we, we give away but we'll still reuse that in other ones or like helper libraries and stuff like that and then there's a the case of intellectual property so this being um, you know taking an application and basically selling the entire idea all the gameplay and just reskinning it and selling it to somebody else see i think that takes it a step too far and then i started thinking there's actually a spectrum here right for a while i remember i remember working on one client project and then they had recommended another client to me who wanted a similar application and I was actually, because I thought it would be dishonest to use the code from the first one, I was rewriting the code, like, as a, like keying it in a second time, doing double entry, which was ridiculous. And when the client found that out, they said, That's, I don't mind if you use the code. That was fine with them, but I got their permission. But a lot of the times when they're paying for the project, in my opinion, they're paying for the code that we write. That's what we, that's what we deliver to them at the end, right? So... You, there, there's always that kind of thing. But I've also had, like one of the development firms I worked with early on, it was a, a development firm in India. Uh, they were you know, they were working on some of my apps, but then they were also pitching me other apps that they'd already made for other clients. They, they're saying like, hey, we made this security app for this other client. Would you like to buy it, right? I'm thinking, well, what, did they not go through with it? They said, no, no, they got it, but you know, we've got all this code. We can sell it to you too. And I was like, no. And then I started thinking, hang on a second. Are you guys doing this with my apps to other people? Right? Because that is one thing. See, so as a business owner, so as, a, as a developer, you, know, you reuse a bit of code. You have a good function here. Like you have a lot of stuff that's just very generic. It does, it does what it does. It makes the job a little bit easier. And then you've got stuff that's specific to the application. It's almost like the intellectual property of the application. So this company in India, they would pitch me things. Eventually I stopped working with them. And another thing they would always do is they would start to, 
they would take my apps and use those to market to other people. So I was, I was getting their spam messages, like their cold emails, like even though it was already a client of theirs in the past, and they were, like, they were listing all these apps that they, were, that they had done in the past, and they were all my apps, right? And I knew that they hadn't done them all. I knew that I had hired other designers, I had hired other people for other parts of it, but because they'd done part of the development, they were passing that off on their, on their own, and that really made me upset which got me to thinking about this problem too. Because as a developer, I think it's fine to reuse a bit of code, right? I think, it's, I think it's expected, but to reuse an entire app and sell it onto somebody else, I think that's, that's really wrong. But it's also something we have to specify early on in a project. When you hire someone, you have to think, they have to know that, hey, this code that you're working on, this belongs to me, right? This, this belongs to me. Everything that I paid for, you know, it could belong to you if I haven't paid for it yet, but in the end, that belongs to me or that belongs to my client you have no access, you have no rights to sell that on later, right? You can use functions and stuff like that. You know, you've, you've gone through all the, the learning and a lot of the times when we, we learn something new, we have a problem. A lot of the problems with development is having these problems that we have to solve as we go through. And once they're in our mind, it's easier to solve them the next time. And if we have a bit of code to refer to, it's even easier because we've been through all that before and, and development just gets faster as you go. So anyway, I wanted to get your guys' take on this, right? What do you think? Do you, cause I think it's completely wrong. I think if, if somebody pays for an application, especially if it's just a reskin, because then you're talking about indirect competition with somebody else, right? So as a developer, I don't mind a little bit of code reuse. In fact, and as a business owner, I don't mind a little bit of code reuse because it's just, a good developer has a tool set, a set of code snippets that they use, you know, they reuse over and over again. But as a business owner, if anybody was to take the source code of any of my applications and give it to somebody else, I would be extremely upset. And, but there's also the, I, I realize, you know, having been in the app market for a while, that the code itself is not everything. So they could sell the code to somebody else and that other person they would have to go through all the same marketing efforts I did. They'd have to go through everything else to get to the places that I am with those applications. But still, you know, it's, it's, if it's something I paid for, it's something I should be able to keep. What do you guys think? I, I think I was getting angry when I read this email a little bit. And, uh, and then I was thinking, trying to like, think of the developer side. You know, they've written this code. Maybe they should maximize the profits from it. You know, but it depends on the contract between them. So what do you guys think? I'd be really interested to hear what you say. First of all, are you a developer or do you hire developers? And, and based on that, how do you feel about this kind of stuff? So anyway, that's it for today. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.